Hi. Mosquito. Hi. Hi. I'm Sabri C. I'm Shumapti. And welcome to my channel. And today I have summer moisturizers for you. Yay. These are lightweight yet quite moisturizing. And I wanted to like cover all the budgets. Here you're going to find moisturizer under 400 rupees. Also here is a moisturizer that costs more than 3000 rupees. Which is I know a lot. But the formulation is nice. My skin feels nice with it. And I think this thing is going to suit all skin types. Depending on the quantity you're using. So yeah. What we are waiting for. Let's start. If you have the question. Shamapte, do we need moisturizer for summer? I encourage you to watch this uh, shots. <laughs> you might find that to be helpful. I'm gonna start with this moisturizer. This is from Conscious Chemist. This is a new thing I tried, and I have to tell you, this is a dew pop. This isn't tree um, hyaluronic acid moisturizer. That one has multi molecules hyaluronic acid. Even this one has, and, and the texture of this moisturizer is very lightweight. It is equally hydrating and moisturizing. I think it's gonna make a good summer moisturizer. Also, I've tried their day moisturizer from this brand that has SPF in it, but I didn't like it that much. It made my skin burn which i didn't like but yeah i'm really enjoying this one this moisturizer has three types of hyaluronic acid then it has a bunch of ceramides it also has aloe reef juice and glycerin it also has oils like sunflower oil i really like the texture it doesn't feel sticky it sprays quite easily and yeah it's a good decent lightweight moisturizer and i also tried their brightening moisturizer it has i think two chemical sunscreen filters it also has polyglutamic acid and it has ascorbic acid but strangely it was stinging my skin so i'll not be buying this again and next i have minimalist b5 moisturizer it has 10 percent panthenol and panthenol can be really good for skin barrier also it can hydrate the skin it also has glycerin then it has copper uh, gluconate and zinc gluconate which can be good for skin barrier it feels lightweight but I have read comments there are people who found this moisturizer to be sticky but I didn't find this to be sticky I only found this to be sticky when I applied an insane amount of moisturizer one night I thought my skin needed more and more moisturizer so I applied like I like I don't know a very good amount of that moisturizer and that time it felt a bit sticky but otherwise uh, I apply this on damp skin I apply like this much can you even tell the amount like the way i'm pointing <laughs> okay anyway but yeah it doesn't feel um moisture it doesn't feel sticky uh, the way i apply this usually so yeah and i'm really liking this one and i didn't find a moisturizer with this high amount of panthenol and that is quite affordable so yeah i think it's gonna be a very good moisturizer for summer from minimalist okay now if you want something like more creamy then i think bioderma atodom cream is gonna be there for you this moisturizer has very good blend of occlusive emollient and humectant it can nourish the skin quite well while preventing the water loss and it has very basic formulation and if you have a very sensitive skin or sensitive skin still you're gonna find this formulation to be quite helpful and this is quite affordable too this one is my all-time favorite summer moisturizer so this is clay's fundamental watery gel moisturizer the texture of this moisturizer and the hydration it gives to my skin my skin feels really comfortable with it but it is on the like uh, expensive side and still i have not found any dupe for this moisturizer yet i'm looking i'm looking but yeah it feels so nice on the skin it makes my skin dewy glowy and if i have to pick like one summer moisturizer then i would pick this one and i know it doesn't have the best ingredients out of all these moisturizers i have for this video but the way it makes my skin feel is everything i love it also i tried this another moisturizer from one thing um it has this 
thicker texture but it also feels really nice so yeah this two korean moisturizers i have been really enjoying for uh, this summer but if i have to pick one i'd pick clear's fundamentals watery gel cream this is very very nice this moisturizer has very good amount of green tea leaf water then it has glycerin it has rice extract rosemary leaf extract then it has centella this moisturizer provides deep hydration while nourishing the skin and i'm really a big fan of the texture of this moisturizer it makes my skin look so good also this one from one thing is quite nice it has this thicker texture than the clays one it has glycerin centella beta glucan and it has simpler formulation than the clays one okay now i have something very basic and something very affordable that is dermois lotion so it has no nonsense ingredients very uh, minimalistic formulation the texture is light moisturizes my skin well and it is very affordable all right now i have this insanely expensive moisturizer which i like and i got to know about this from tapasvini uh, she is on instagram and she reviews skincare makeup so wonderfully she is she is wonderful so you can check her uh, profile on um, instagram i'm sure you're gonna find her reviews to be awesome this moisturizer has fragrance but it doesn't feel like it has fragrance you know i mean i wish uh, the brands who put fragrance in their formulation they put this amount of fragrance if they do that i won't have any issue with that because it is so subtle and it didn't irritate my skin at all and it has all skin soothing ingredients the only thing i don't like about the moisturizer is the price point you know and it's gonna last you for like max one month if they would have sold like 100 ml of product then i would have like okay chalo we are getting like good quantity but you are getting 50 ml for 3500 and this is the most expensive moisturizer i have ever used the brand says that this moisturizer is pricey because they have used 20 times more ceramides than the industry standard actually they have used 1% ceramides in there also they have used 40% porcelain extract which can be really good for skin barrier along with si berry uh, bisabulol allantoin this is extremely lightweight so I was looking for a dupe for this moisturizer and thought about this one for minimalist. So the um, cholesterol fatty acid and uh, ceramide ratio matches but this one has 0.3% ceramides but obviously is way cheaper than the dupe moisturizer and another lightweight and ceramide based moisturizer is this one from formula rx also this doesn't have like 1% ceramide the percentage of ceramide would be somewhat close to minimalist but yeah it is lightweight and they also have another uh, variant their barrier plus that one is a little bit uh, thicker than this other one so if you have like more dry skin you can try that one so yeah these two can be uh, like sort of dupe of the du moisturizer but not exactly a dupe the formulation is way superior but if you don't want to spend this much on a moisturizer then that's totally understandable and that's all right while editing the video i remember this moisturizer from sugandha it also can be a good dupe of the du moisturizer it has 2.5 percent ceramide complex but i don't know the exact amount of pure ceramide in it but i can see it they have used good amount of ceramide uh, by judging from the ingredients list it takes some time to absorb though but yeah it has good ingredients I have another lightweight lotion kind of a thing. So this is Dr. Says Hibiscus and Niacinamide Lotion. It has 5% Niacinamide. It also has Hibiscus Extract, Allantoin. And it almost feels like emulsion. So yeah, if you like lotions for your face, then you're gonna like it. Now I have a tie between these two. One is Vaughn Calm Cream. Another is Isn't Tree Green Tea Emulsion. So if you want something lighter, go for this Isn't Tree Emulsion. And if you want something a little bit thicker, then go for this Von Calm Cream. If your skin likes uh, green tea more, go for this Isn't Tree one. If your skin likes Cintera more, go for this Von one. If you have irritated skin, if you have angry skin, this two would suit you really well 
again very really lightweight lotion like texture no stickiness nothing also remember this lotion from keep cool it has 51 percent bamboo uh, water then it has a bunch of humectants too it feels really hydrating not that moisturizing but yeah quite hydrating it has coconut oil in there but it didn't cause me any issue but the og would be it would have sunjang emulsion Okay, now I have a serum that you can use as a moisturizer, and this is Pilgrim's Glow Cream Serum. So it feels like a moisturizer. It has blend of actives like tyrosinic acid, arbutin, and I think it also has niacinamide. So yeah, it's a good one. And I noticed when I apply this. I don't need to follow up with a moisturizer usually, especially during the daytime. Uh, you can like just follow up with the sunscreen, you're good to go. So yeah, it's a quite good one. So there are these milky texture serums that you can use in the daytime and you can follow up with a sunscreen. You don't have to use moisturizer separately because those are quite nourishing. You can find this video to be helpful. All right, now I have this one skincare hack. So for like if you don't like cream based formula or if you don't like lotions you like gel like transparent gels what you can do you can apply aloe gel or propolis gel any gel you can mix two drops of squalene you can use this as moisturizer it works really well uh, i have noticed alone aloe vera gel doesn't like do that well for my skin in terms of hydration but when i mix with this uh, squalene it works really well so yeah you can do that these days i'm using this benton's um, aloe propolis gel i have been really enjoying this one so there you have it my top favorite summer moisturizers and i have many even other options too but the space was limited but i'm gonna leave honorable mentions in the description box i hope you found this to be helpful thank you so much for watching and i'm gonna see you very soon then bye bye okay i forgot to tell you about this moisturizer this is from cap and i really used to like it but day after day day after day is like smelling weird you know it didn't smell like this it didn't smell like didn't smell like this what is happening with this this is the dry normal skin moisturizer with vitamin c a coenzyme q10 hyaluronic acid and i thought it's gonna be good summer moisturizer because the texture is quite nice non-sticky formulation but the smell oh god but why this is smelling so weird i remember when i bought it it didn't smell this weird it didn't now with time it's like smelling more and more weird so let me know if you have like same experience with this one i don't think it has become bad the moisturizer looks fine to me um but the smell i don't know why this is happening